Hey folks, Daily Report. Um, it's a beautiful day. The sun rose. It's shining brightly. Even if it's cloudy, it's still shining behind the clouds. But today here in the northeast in Aberdeen, um, outside of the city, it has been shining down on us and there's not hardly a breath of wind. There are no planes in the sky. I'm sorry for those people who are not able to travel at this time for things that they might be needing or things that they're going to be missing out on if people haven't been able to travel to funerals or other other medical reasons then yeah it's difficult for them but right now I think it's really important that we look at what we do have and what isn't lost and what we have gained um, when there's a great change happening in society so during times of war during times um, of mass pandemic the point of reference comes from out within us and if we have our point of reference as somewhere else oh my god that's too big i can't control that i'll leave it up to the government the police will come they can they can sort this um, i don't have the power when we remove our power from within our center and give it away to somebody else then what are we left with so i think it's really important to come back into our bodies and to realize what we do have and how magical we are what we can do with just physically our bodies i mean without even leaving the house how we can connect to people across the world uh, there's this massive unity there's a huge shift happening because of this pandemic at this moment um, and I can really see and feel a lot of friends are reaching out to loved ones. Some people are families are maybe kind of conveying it with a lot of anger or stress. And that's only from fear and love because we all love each other so much. So if anybody is being angry or unkind, it's coming from deep down within. It's coming from a place of love. So just to remember that. Bring the reference point back within and realize what we do have and what we can do. Um, yeah, I think that's what I wanted to say today. So it's a really beautiful old Native American prophecy. And this is a beautiful tree. A tree that I used to come and sit in when I was working in the garden at Newton D ago and I would come down during lunchtime and rest hour and sit in this beautiful huge ancient still silent oak very noble and wise big old oak um, and just give it love and respect and thanks for, for it holding me and in summer hiding by the leaves now it's, it doesn't have leaves but it's got big beautiful knobbly tips that are off of pretty and ready to start all the energy has risen from the roots and is now just sitting and waiting for spring to, to come and for it to burst out its energy and its life force. So, yeah, I wanted to share this with you. Old Native American prophecy. When the earth is ravaged and the animals are dying, a new tribe of people shall come onto the earth from many colours, classes and creeds, who by their actions and deeds shall make the earth green again. They will be known as the warriors of the rainbow. And we can feel it happening, you know, over, I mean, since even, since even the 60s, 70s, all these light workers that are being born, there's so many influential people, even that I know within this small range of people that I know within this city and, and people that I've met on travels, there are so many magical people who are doing such, such good for the for the world. You know, we look to our spiritual leaders like Buddha and Siddhartha and the Dalai Lama and all the monks and to Jesus. And we give thanks to their for what they've done, the, the life, the servitude that they've given, their life is serving. But actually, there's people all around who are doing that every day. Um, there's a whole bunch of messiahs on this earth within close proximity to all of us. So that's pretty fucking cool. Let's sing a wee song. To Pachamama. And now we're in the silence. 
sense what we can hear. We can hear bringing that reference point back to within and to our power source. What can we do? What is she telling us? And this song is what comes to mind today. I hear the voice of my grandmother's calling me. I hear the voice of my grandmother's song. She says, stand in your power, people. Stand in your power. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. I hear the voice of my grandmother's calling me. I hear the voice of my grandmother's song. She says, wake up, wake up, people. Wake up, wake up. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. I hear the voice of my grandmother's calling me. I hear the voice of my grandmother's song. She says, stand in your power women stand in your power listen 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 i hear the voice of my grandmother's calling me i hear the voice of my grandmother's song she says wake up wake up people wake up wake up listen 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 Song written and sung by Shefi Orenbach. Beautiful. Now the world's so silent and quiet. If you turn off the TV, if you go into nature, if you go within yourself, you will find the peace. All around. All within. Many blessings, lots of love.